Jagex recently did a brand new live stream where they told us a whole bunch of brand new information about Desert Treasure 2, but it didn't exactly start off to plan. Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome to this very special... You freeze immediately. <laughs> But after that little hiccup, they did get into some amazing discussions and they even told everyone that it matters if you get the perfect kill at the new bosses. Uh, since I've been tagged about like 30 times, yeah, the perfect kill mechanics, I can confirm if you do the boss perfectly correctly, um, you get a 50% increase in regular loot. They said they'll release the exact drop rates in about a week's time, but what a cool brand new mechanic for the elite gamers. If you get the perfect kill, you get 50% more loot. And I absolutely love that they're rewarding very skilled gameplay, but someone who's in the higher level community that is not very happy with Jagex despite this amazing update is no monkeys and he put out this plea to jagex saying that the high level community is completely being ignored as the nostalgia that surrounds old school runescape wanes the community now faces new challenges a big chunk of the player base feels disregarded and neglected not just for weeks or months but for an extended period of years this is a heartfelt appeal to jagex urging them to set aside corporate greed and genuinely listen to the concerns of both myself and our community now, this video started to gain some massive traction with over 60,000 views in less than 24 hours, but it does go for over 30 minutes, so I'll quickly summarize. Basically, he wants some more interesting mechanics added to the game, and although the Desert Treasure 2 bosses have some very cool mechanics, they're just not something that people can grind day in and day out like T.O.B., and the high-level community is saying they absolutely love T.O.B., but they need another thing that they can just relentlessly grind they have been playing this game for years and years and are a massive source of its income coming in but for a lot of the recent updates although there have not been too many have been catered for the wide majority of the runescape player base and jagex sort of needs to do this to increase revenue for the company and even though some unnamed creators may say F the high level community we do need them as a vital part of our game to help it staying healthy into the future a tricky position position for Jagex. They need to make the company money and also try and keep all the player base happy. But personally, I would love to see a raid release that's basically impossible for 80% of the community and only the most elite can do it with the most crazy mechanics that we can possibly imagine. Thoughts on No Monkey video? Um, I agree with like probably half to 70% of what he says. I think he just suffers from being genuinely too good at the game. He's too good and he plays too much. And I think he's, he's like, oh, definitely lost a little bit of a little out of touch with the general player base but that doesn't make what he said wrong um i think he could he could do with being a bit more pragmatic presenting his points uh or a bit more tact rather and uh you know suffering from success he's genu he's genuinely too good like the problems he complains about are very much problems they're real and they exist and speaking of slightly crazy mechanics denshi plays on an ultimate iron man but he's found a very new and very interesting way to store a full looting bag in the game you might not even be able to feed it looting bags though yes okay nom's looting bag okay so we know there's a mind rune and a bone today yeah now we thought the abyssal leech was just an amazing and very funny item sink but ultimate iron man can literally put a full looting bag in there go do whatever they want so they have that extra invent space and then they can come back and buy it from the last man standing store and it still has all of their items in there but be very careful doing this and while we're looking at the abyssal leech someone actually did put the twisted bow in it some poor madman actually fed a kitten to the leech and the worst of all someone fed the best helmet in the game the tanzanite mutagen to the leech and i laid in my bed wishing that it was the magma mutagen uh jib has been relentlessly grinding out this new boss but he hasn't received much gp until now And at the moment, he's already over 1,000 KC of this brand new boss, but Redhorn's on the completely other end of the scale. Oh! 
Oh, what? A lovely little 56kc Defy J coming into the game. Please comment down below who looks the most like the Duke pet. Did poop fart. We on? <laughs> Ten months over, bro. What a loser. Ten months. <laughs> If that isn't the best way to describe the new Torva, I'm not sure what is. If you don't have blood Torva, now you're officially known as a Tin Man. But someone who was the first to ever get the blood Torva and he'll hold that record for the rest of his life was the amazing Sink. Oh, I got it! I got it! I got it! I'm done! Get it, get me out! I'm done! I'm done. I got it. And I believe we should start a petition to feed Sink to the Abyssal Leech. We would literally have Sink fed to an item Sink. Hyper Carl spent $2,500 on his brand new drink bottle. He was showing everyone how amazing it was and how waterproof it is when you lock it all up. Then you lock this down. Put this in. And then... Oh, no! <laughs> Not again, my keyboard. <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, I feel pretty confident about it. Um, I really oh, do. Why does Scott one? Understanding the mechanics of the bosses was a big thing, so I'm not worried about the four bosses. If anything, I'd just be worried about the fight at the end because you kind of only get like one run through of of those guys. Uh, hello? Did you just? <laughs> yeah. As you were chatting away, I was like, "Woo!" <laughs> While everyone was talking, the silent celebration is absolutely amazing, and Curtis was one of the winners of the top like comment. And I decided we split the 250, 150 to Curtis, and 100 to the official ass whisperer, seeing as Curtis did get the most like comment. <laughs> I uh, hopped over to uh, a East Coast world. Behemoth. That's fine with me. I get big ping on uh, like 200. Does it make like a big difference? The community chose yeah, you to win half. 90 ping, 90 MS ping on. Oh, so like thank when you, you click somewhere, it takes comments. a long time for it to register. Yes. Thank you so much, stuff. honestly. Oh, yeah. Much I, appreciated. If I thank you. Zilli, I want to be able We're to about to head to Zilly, quickly. and you've just made my night comment section. Sense. So okay, thank you. Uh, Subscribe right to back. Behemoth. Thank you very much. You're legends, honestly. Thank you very much for choosing your boy, Curtis. Why would you choose me, man? You chose me. You chose your boy. You know what? I'm forever grateful, man. Much love to you guys. You beasts. Big shout out to Behemoth as well. You heard the man. Sub to the channel. Help us get to that massive 90,000. Then we're on the home stretch. Flomple is the absolute king of the rhyming streams. And this one will blow your mind. Look at this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got two whips. While doing Slayer, while we assemble a chair. It rhymes. Don't even pretend it doesn't. We got the instructions. We got Slayer. We got chair, two whips back to back. Oh my gosh, look, there's a box here. I wonder what it could be. Surprise, mother! Oh my god, that actually scared me. <laughs> it's a me! All right, today we are we're doing Slayer, right up here, Slayer, while I assemble a chair. Slayer with the chair. That chair will be very useful for him when Chris Hansen inevitably comes over and tells him to take a seat over there. Some fries, mother trucker. Oh my god, that actually scared me. <laughs> and next up, our most viewed RuneScape clip for the day with Addicon. This one was titled Merch Justy. You can see him absolutely tanking like a madman. I believe it's a bit hard to see, but he is wearing just a car, showing just how tanky it can be, especially at these new bosses. <laughs> the fact that I got that far with it is insane. And perhaps that's the tanky armor that Mammal requires. Make sure to never distract Mammal while he's in combat. Very, very accurate. Uh, yeah. The, I suppose at my stats, the number, like the actual hits aren't that big oh, yet, but oh, the oh. accuracy is C still Careful, Spongebob. Rob. C careful, Spongebob. Rob. Oh my Ooh. god, dude. Dude. Now, he would have had to be pretty unlucky there, but there was a little bit of a possibility if those minions started to go absolutely ham. But while we're speaking about ham, let's swiftly switch over to Hamzy. As you may be able to tell, he has absolutely no idea that Butchers started following him. There's like one side that's like all about it and one that's like, he's just f going off and off and off. I don't know. Wait, what the f Dude, no. Did I just get pet? <laughs>
The best reactions are always the ones where they don't realize it's following them at first. Will Clipper finally get the pet from Duke? Also, no, nobody believed that I was two out of three the first time. I really believed this the second time. Oh, no, no way! No, no way! The third vestige! Sorry, that's not humble. That one being his third one on the infamous hunt to get all the pets in the game. So, yeah, GG. <gasps> I know. Oh, oh my god, no way! Yo, Executioner's Axe. What? No way, two out of four. What? Only taking 16kc for that part of the axe. Soon we're going to see the Iron Man getting around with the amazing Soul Bearer, but I just can't wait to see an Iron Man who has the Blood Torva. Please note they have to get all of the Awakened Orbs from KC themselves and then go into the battle. If they lose it, they may have to grind out for hours and hours to get one back. If you're new, we upload every single day at the exact same time, and I'll see all you legends tomorrow.